Diane Gill, you're with the Rural Adversity Mental Health Program. There's big drought problems in the north of New South Wales into Queensland right now. What are the ramifications for farmers in such circumstances? Well, the ramifications aren't just for farmers. It's a whole community issue. It affects all the small communities there um, because the farmers are so stressed and they're not participating as much in the things that should be doing out there. Yeah, so it's just not farmers, it's a whole community issue. All right, and what sort of, pro without going into specifics, what sort of problems and how are they manifesting themselves in these communities? Well, as was said earlier today on the Welcome to Country, the farmers are very connected to the land and they look after it. So they grieve with the land. If the land's not going well, they don't go well. They're, they're tired, they're exhausted, they're working hard up at all sorts of hours trying to keep their stock going. They're seeing their stock die, there's a lot of grief related to that. And it causes a lot of physical illnesses as well as the mental health issues that are um, coming from there. So do you think there's a much greater consciousness in the bush today about mental health problems, issues, challenges uh, than there was say 20 years ago? Um, I can tell you over the last seven years because I've started this program when it was called Drought Mental Health Assistance Package and I've seen a greater grow an understanding of the mental health issues and how to um, improve mental health but we've still got a long way to go. When you say we've got a long way to go, is there any kind of sense of percentage of people who are now coming forward who may not have been coming forward seven years ago? I, I can't give you a percentage. I can give you an example that um, seven years ago I'd go to a function, eyes would be down, there'd be no eye contact to talk to me. But nowadays already, and we're just at the first session here, um, we've had several people come up and go, I'm worried about my friend or this is happening in my area. So already people are starting to identify that there are issues and they need to do something about it. And of course, this, uh, this mental health challenges of depression and, and concern and anxiety, they're across both men and women in the bush. Can you explain to me how important the women are in the family units in terms of meeting these challenges? Oh, look, women, all parts of the family are important in meeting these challenges. They need to work together, but women, take on a lot. They're doing the nurturing of the family. Often um, in our older farmers, they're the squeezed part. They're looking after their young children who are maybe at university, but also dealing with older family members who are trying to get off the farm. So there's a lot there. They bring information t into the farm about what's available, what's not available. Um, so very important. Interesting though, when you go to a conference and you talk to the male farmers, they'll ask you, what can I do for my wife? But if you go to a women's conference, they'll say, what can I do for my husband? So they both are concerned about each other and how they can support each other. Without being too simplistic about it, if I, I'm a farmer who's having trouble with depression and anxiety and I, I come to the Rural Adversity Mental Health Program to, to have a chat, I guess that's how it happens. Uh, what are your key messages for someone in my situation? Well, there's actually, the, my first message would be, have you spoken to your GP? That's the first thing. Sometimes there are physical illnesses that um, act like depressive illnesses. So we need to make sure it's not a, a physical one as well. But secondly, um, they can put you onto what services are written in their area, whether you need to speak to a psychologist, counsel some way down there. But to stay well is the main thing. So staying connected to your family, friends, community, um, to exercise, eat well. All those things are good for your physical health, are good for your mental health as well. And um, I suppose one of the major things is watch the alcohol intake. Unfortunately, a lot of people self-medicate uh, medicate by consuming alcohol or other drugs in the attempt to feel better, but in the long run, they're making it worse. So try to avoid excess use of alcohol or any other drugs. So Diane, a very important mission. Uh, tell us a bit about your personal history and what brought you to be uh, among this, uh, a part of this, leading part of this important New South Wales program. Okay, um, background as I said before in banking, but also I've always grown up in rural areas and was out west at Condobolin Way. Um, went nursing, became the mental health nurse in that area, and could see that decline during the drought of um, the well-being of our communities. 
and did a lot of um, health promotion education in that and then it just developed, I got invited to become part of what was the drought mental health assistance package. So for seven years now I've been working through this field of um, supporting rural, not only farmers but the communities in rural areas through their mental health problems. And I understand you have a partnership uh, with Fairfax Agricultural Media who are helping out to disseminate information in the bush. Can you tell us a bit about that? Funny, I should happen to have. <laughs> yeah, every October we bring out a book called The Glove Box Guide. It's in the, the land paper and it's full of um, inspiring stories of people who have um, fought through depression or anxiety and how they've recovered but most importantly the last couple of pages where we have the telephone line contacts and the online contacts for people when they either they feel they need help or they're worried about a family member friend and then they can ring and say what can we do and get that extra support but as I said first line try and contact the GP and go in and tell the GP how you feel um, and you need to express this is how I feel I'm feeling sad I'm feeling down I don't feel I'm coping and that's the first step once you've taken that first step to seeking help the rest of it becomes a lot easier Diane Gill a critical job that you're doing in the bush you and your colleagues uh, well done and please keep up the good work